Yes, Ajay T G basically um, is a filmmaker and a uh, social activist, a filmmaker. He's been working in the field of education also, um, and he uh, was arrested in a case uh, in in which sedition was put. Now the interesting thing is that initially, when 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 uh, uh, he was arrested, actually the circumstances of his ar arrest are very uh, strange. He had gone along with a team of other academics and social activists to investigate into elections in the Bastar area because there were a lot of complaints that actually figures are falsified and uh, uh, more you know percentage of voting is shown than actually happens and he was one of the photographers he as a photographer he accompanied that team and um, and his uh, uh, camera was uh, taken away by snatched away by maoist and uh, Apparently, what is being said, and there is only a photocopy letter of. Uh, it is being said that a letter was recovered from some Maoist, in which the 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 price of the camera, that you know, this is the price of the camera, uh, that was written, and um, and that is the basis on which a case was made out against Ajay T G. Uh, under the Chhattisgarh uh, Vishesh Jan Suraksha Adhiniyam, the special uh, yeah, um, act which is there in that state. He was at once being accused of being a member and assisting and managing and uh, etc. So now all those offences uh, which are under the CSPSA uh, have a sentence period of less than seven years and, and they are tribal by a magistrate. So Actually, there were only 60 days uh, available in which his charge sheet should have been filed. On the 59th day, uh, uh, a, a, uh, a letter was presented by the prosecution saying that we are also adding the charge of 124A sedition. Now, obviously, there could have been no sedition in this case. If they, if, if their, their only evidence was a, a letter, uh, again, which itself was a photocopy and uh, uh, it was difficult to say uh, much about that letter. Um, though they claimed that a handwriting expert had, had verified that was in Ajay's handwriting, etc. But even so, I mean, definitely no case was made out to of, as, uh, uh, as of sedition. And um, then, since they were unable to, uh, to file the charge sheet in 90 days, he finally got, he got out on statutory bail, but the case was continuing and uh, there was a huge sort of media trial against him and all kinds of things were written in the newspapers and so on and so forth. But um, very recently, uh, maybe a few months back, uh, in the 2016 itself, um, he has been discharged now of the offence of sedition. Yes, so late. And, and this uh, must have been 2007 or so. so uh, yeah, <laughs> about nine years, eight, eight to nine years it took for his charge to be argued and uh, for him to be discharged of the offence of this sedition. So sedition is something uh, which is really very casually used and that's very unfortunate after this, uh, you know, Kedar Singh, uh, Kedar Nath Singh judgment. I mean, that actually makes it so clear that, you know, unless that act has some immediate connection with uh, inciting violence uh, uh, that you can't consider it sedition and and, uh, and in fact it was said that if other kinds of interpretation are made then that would be unconstitutional it says so very clearly and I think we've been relying all the time on the state that they will make a proper interpretation but that's never going to happen so I think really it's time to take this law off the statute book altogether.